This is in no way my attempt to justify my comic book obsession. And this story, I really, really like. Artwork, the storytelling. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Pull List. My name is Travis and let's talk about Brian Michael Bendis. For years, Brian Michael Bendis has been one of the biggest names in comics. Bendis has been a writer at Marvel Comics for over 17 years and this morning we found out that he's leaving Marvel to work for DC. It's kind of like the one time that that big sports ball player moved from the one team to go play on the other team and the people over here thought that that team was the enemy team and then the people over here were kind of excited to have such a big player over on their team. It's probably kind of like that. I don't know. I don't watch many sports. But DC broke news of the move this morning on Twitter saying that they are excited to work with Bendis. Bendis has signed an exclusive multi-year, multi-faceted deal to work for DC Comics. I'm assuming as a writer. Bendis soon confirmed the tweet by saying that this is real, that change is good, and change is healthy. DC's tweet also stated that Bendis was one of the premier writers in the industry, which is undoubtedly a true statement. Bendis co-created the ultimate Ultimate Spider-Man series. He co-created Jessica Jones. He created the character of Miles Morales. He's gotten some backlash in recent years for making changes to established characters. People saying that these changes are unnecessary and irrational. Other people saying that he's gotten a little lazy in the past couple of years, just cranking out the same sort of stuff over at Marvel over and over, but Bendis has written for nearly every major Marvel superhero. Spider-Man, The Avengers, The X-Men, Iron Man. So the question then becomes, why? Why is Brian Michael Bendis jumping ship from Marvel to go work at DC? During a phone interview with the New York Times, Bendis said that the move is partially due to the fact that he was worried that he was just repeating himself over and over. He also said that he was trying to break down that Marvel versus DC craziness that some fans have. That DC reached out about working for them and he just felt that the time was right. And the excitement of working with DC characters outweighed any of the other apprehensions that he may have had. In my personal opinion of Bendis' writing, I enjoy when he's focusing on specific small numbers of characters and not multi-team wielding comic reverberation storylines where all these epic huge things are happening. Bendis is best when he's focusing on the characters themselves, giving them personalities, backstories, understanding where these characters are coming from. As of right now, we have no idea what to expect from Bendis' move to DC, but Bendis seems very excited about all of the possibilities. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about Bendis switching teams from Marvel to DC. Do you think it's good? Do you hate the idea of him leaving Marvel? Or do you think there's something else going on behind the scenes that, you know, we don't know about yet? I know I haven't done a pull list video in a little while, but there has been so much comic news that has happened in the past couple days that I think I'm gonna have to do another pull list video tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But that's it for this episode of The Pull List. My name is Travis. Thank you for fueling my comic book obsession, and you will see me tomorrow.